The Holy Tales. Hello everyone, I am Dumbo. These are my friends Freckles and Tubby. We live in this wonderful library and we love to listen to stories from the Bible. Holy, the oldest and the wisest bookworm of this library, tells us the stories. She knows all the stories from the Bible and she loves to sleep. From the Bible, please? Yes, Holy. Come on. I hope you have already thought of one. Yes, children, I have. But pay good attention, or else you won't be able to answer my question at the end of the story. I will try very hard. Good to hear that, Gumbo. Now, Peter was one of Jesus' closest disciples, visited Jaffa to preach his beloved master's teachings. Jaffa was a coastal town. One day, as he was praying on the roof, he saw a vision. He saw in front of him a sheet being lowered from the heaven. The sheet was filled with all kinds of animals and birds known to man. Suddenly, a voice told him to eat one of the animals. Peter refused. He said that he could never eat anything that was unclean or ruled out by the law. The voice said, You have no right to call anything unclean that God has made. The voice repeated this three times before taking back the sheet into the heaven. As Peter woke up from the trance, he thought about what the meaning of his vision could be. Suddenly, an angel appeared before him. He told him that some men had come to see him and that he should travel back with them. Peter went downstairs and saw some men waiting for him. One of them said, We are servants of Cornelius, a respectable Jewish man. He is a good man and worships his Lord. Today an angel appeared to him and asked him to send for you. You must come with us. Peter agreed. The next morning, he reached Cornelius's house. According to the law, a good Jew was not allowed to enter the house of a foreigner. He immediately understood the meaning of the vision he had. God had made all men equal. We must not think that anyone is unclean. Peter spoke about Jesus to Cornelius and baptized everyone in the house. The Holy Spirit was surrounding them all the while he was doing this. Oh my God! So many animals coming down from the heaven on a sheep? Awesome! Yes, it truly was. So my question is, what was the name of the man who sent for Peter? Cornelius, right? Hey, I was about to say that. I'm sure you were, Gumbo. Now off you go, kids. I need to think of another story to tell you. Bye, Holly! Holy Tales